What's good aquatics crew? So you want to get a mantis shrimp, well then you came to the right place. Today in this video I'm going to go over everything you may need to know before buying a mantis shrimp. I'm not going to be going over tank setup, that's going to be for another video. But I will be going over some good things to know before you buy one to see if it's what you really want to do and also to go over some mistakes that I made when buying one so you don't make the same ones. I know a lot of my videos inspired you guys to get mantis shrimp, but I don't think it's for everybody, so hopefully this video will help you figure that out as well. I also want to say thank you guys so much for the support. It's been really awesome lately, but without further ado, let's get into the video. One thing I always suggest to everybody is if you have no fish tank experience at all, do not get a mantis shrimp as your first tank pet. I know they're big, strong, and mean, but they're not as hardy as they actually look. Mantis shrimp are crustaceans, and if you don't know, crustaceans are very susceptible to bad water. So if the water parameter is even a little bit off, they could easily die. Fish, for instance, are actually a little bit hardier than crustaceans will be. With that being said, I would say keep a saltwater tank for at least three to six months without anything dying that includes your crustaceans and snails and all your cleanup crew. If you have some freshwater tank experience, I would say at least keep a saltwater for a couple months, three months maybe. I started with salt, so I don't know much of a difference between salt and freshwater care. I hear salt is, is a bit more maintenance, so maybe still not for everybody. I think if you already can't handle the maintenance of freshwater or are tired of the maintenance of fresh water, then you probably won't enjoy doing salt. It also tends to be a little bit more expensive. Now with that out of the way, I'm going to tell you guys how to shop for your very first mantis shrimp. There are a couple places that you can do this, which is online, which tends to be a little bit more risky because the animal could die during shipment or it can get sick and die later or you might actually order what you think is something that you want and it turns out it's not and there's not really usually a good return policy on that. Or you can do it the safe way which is the way that I would personally recommend which is going to a local fish store, not like Petco or something like that, like an exotic fish store with corals and things like that and see if they can order you a peacock mantis shrimp unless you want another type of mantis shrimp. Some tips I would say for buying online would be contact the place and see if they can get you an actual picture of the specimen that they have in stock so you can confirm that it is a peacock or whichever one you want. And if you order in store and it comes in and it's not the one you want, you are not obligated to actually buy the animal unless you made some deal with the store beforehand. Also, at times you will order maybe even online and in your local fish store, but nothing will come in for months and months. It seems like peacock mantis shrimps are only in season a certain time of year. I don't know why this is. I think it's because of where they come from and how they ship them out. But I notice them start to come back around mid-year like June. A major issue that I notice when I see mantis shrimps in store is that people will label them as a peacock mantis shrimp when they are actually not. There are plenty of other great species of mantis shrimp that also make good pets and are still fun and rewarding, but I'm just going to talk about the peacock since that's the one that I keep and I would assume that's the one that you guys are also looking for. So there are two subcategories of mantis shrimp. There's the smashers and the spearers. But there are over 450 different types of mantis shrimp, so it is actually very easy to mislabel them. But when looking for a peacock mantis shrimp, they only come in three major colors, which is going to be green, uh, an olive color and a red. All of those can slightly vary, of course. Their tails are very obvious. They're red and blue. They look like peacock feathers hence the name. Their underbellies are usually always a red. And peacock mantis shrimps are always smashers, they are not spearers. So overall, make sure that where you are getting them from is a reliable place, and also make sure you know what you are getting because taking care of one can be different than taking care of another. So now some general maintenance things that you can expect when owning a mantis shrimp. I would say as far as saltwater goes, they're actually an easy level of care. I think saltwater tanks tend to be hard in and of themselves, so even a low level of saltwater care is still a little difficult and really not meant for everybody. If you're taking care of corals, that's a totally different thing. Corals, I would say, are definitely harder than keeping a mantis shrimp. Now you're deciding if you actually want one, so here are a couple things to note before really getting into it. Unfortunately, if you've been in this hobby for a long time, you know that things die. It just happens. This hobby can be very rewarding, but also very heartbreaking at the same time. If something goes wrong, the only thing you can do is learn what happened and fix it for the next time. Kind of a metaphor for life, too. I hope this video helped clear some things up for you guys. I will be making a mantis shrimp tank setup soon, probably the next video, so make sure you hit the bell to be notified for that that. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I appreciate you guys a ton. Thank you so much for the support and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.